The Roland Rocket himself, Gary Thompson, was born in his namesake, Roland, Iowa, in 1935. Despite his relatively short size for a famous basketball player, a 5'10 Thompson would go on to become a larger-than-life sports figure in Iowa when he found his love for basketball. During his prep career, Thompson became the first player to score over 2,000 points as he led the Rockets to 127 wins against eight losses, including three state tournament trips, and he was named first team all state and first team all tournament three consecutive years. After a successful pair of high school careers in basketball and baseball at Roland, Thompson found a new hardwood to call home, not far from his alma mater, Iowa State University in Ames. Thompson ran the court at Iowa State and secured his spot as one of the best players in the nation being named a first-team All-American as a senior and beating out Wilt Chamberlain himself for the Big 7 Conference Player of the Year award, which later became the Big 12 as we know it today. On top of his excellence in basketball, Thompson proved ever versatile and led ISU to the 1957 College World Series as the team's shortstop as well. The thing about being an athlete, you have to be dedicated. You have to give up things uh, that other people uh, do and want to do uh, because you have to be dedicated to the sport where you want to be good. It takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort and a lot of work. You just do not get there by wishing and hoping. And, uh, and then I think uh, the thing I think that served me well uh, is a part of life is trying to be a good person and a person of character. And I think you're accepted by people and I think that uh, it really helps you, in, in your opinion, of working with other people, the teamwork aspect of athletics and in that area. After collecting numerous accolades at ISU and becoming the school's first player to ever score 1,000 points in a career, the university retired his number, 20, and his jersey still hangs in Hilton Coliseum. Not done with the game yet, Thompson went on to play for the Bartlesville Phillips 66ers in the Amateur Athletic Union after being drafted in the fifth round by the Minneapolis Lakers. Thompson would earn three AAU All-American awards for the 66ers, continuing his dominance. Well Gary, you were drafted by the Minneapolis Lakers in the fifth round, but you elected instead to go into the AAU brand of basketball, which at the time was very comparable to the NBA. Some great players and some great teams. I was married, uh, the AAU basketball was real strong and it was a chance to start a future with a company. And Phillips was really the Cadillac of AAU basketball. After I quit playing, I got the itches after being out about three years with Phillips, and they brought me back to coach the Phillips 66ers. Uh, I enjoyed coaching. I enjoyed coaching very much. And I was kind of learning on the wing. You know, I played for a lot of good people, and so you put those things into effect as you coach. But there's a lot more to coaching than just X and O's. Gary Thompson's inspiring rise to fame and multi-sport success in the heart of the state stamped his name into the Iowa record books, and he left his legacy on the game as one of the best to ever step on the court at ISU.